welcome to another episode of Team Mad Bullet Fishing Adventures. Yes, as you would have seen at the start, we do have a new boat, and what a beast of a boat it is. Before we get started, a massive shout out for Tom, Aquamaster, for building this absolute beast of a boat. Now he's gone above and beyond any of our expectations on this build, and he's thrown in so much for us in this build. Another shout out to uh, Rod from AMC Marine, supplying with this beautiful Suzuki. 60 horsepower donk and yes it is running and you can't even hear it well another shout out to paul from i styles for his beautiful wrap he's put on the boat for us um, if you ever want to get your car wrapped boat wrap any sort of signage stickers whatever hit him up here's your man he's got the quality that you need and uh, last of all, big shout out to uh, Lion Batteries. They've uh, fitted us up with an uh, absolute awesome uh, electronic system which will keep us going on the water forever. Well, over the last uh, couple of days, we came down to the Logan River and we ran the motor in. So with new motors, unfortunately, you have to run them in. You can't just get in and brrr, off you go because you can do damage to them. So we've uh, taken Rod's advice and we've run the motor in. Last night, Dad and I went out for its maiden trip fishing. And as, we'll, as you'll see, we'll roll this footage now, we christen this boat with a beautiful little hammerhead shark. Here it is. Right, he's on. Like you said, you kept him green. Yeah. Oh boy, hand us the It's a hammer! 
<laughs> grab its tail. Grab its tail. What a way to christen the boat. That way. Vertical, vertical. Other way, other way. Yep, flip it over that way. No, no. Flip it, flip it. This. Vertical like this. Yep. This side of it. Six foot. Alright. Alright. Roll him over. Oh, it's, yeah, it's just a vein. Not a bad bleed. No. Step over the trace. Way. Double. <laughs> oh, he's dropped it. He's good. That one you got to some more. Oh no. He's back. Take your time, I'm just about to pull this. You dropped it. Must have been small. Back your drag down a bit. A bit more. Yep. There's only a small E2. There we go. Oh, he just jumped. Yep. There we go, he's hooked. Right, now you can bring that one in. <laughs> this will probably get eaten. <laughs> oh, little remora. Second. 
Should see it any second. <laughs> you want to chase dollies and M uh, AJ's, old boy, you got to get used to this. <laughs> this is what a a uh, Ambo and AJ and uh, Dolly pull like. There we go. Beautiful. Three. Yep. Well and truly great. Yep. Three times cruise. <laughs> <laughs> two two sharks on that one bait. <laughs> I'm gonna include that on YouTube. You do know I realised that. <laughs> That's gonna be funny. <laughs> Thank you very much. How good was that to christen the boat? Little six foot hammer and a double hook up on little bullies, which one of them we kept. Now today I'm out with my gorgeous family. We've just uh, launched at the Carbrook boat ramp, newly taken over, and I tell you what. He has done a terrific job on this boat ramp and the shop. So get down here, enjoy the facilities he got, and stay tuned because he has got a bull shark comp coming up as well. So today's plan, as I said, launch from Carbrook, and we're actually gonna head all the way to Peel Island today, which is 37K trip. We'll see you out there when we're having fun. marvelous and relaxing trip that was and this bad boy well she chewed it up like it was nothing well uh, we've arrived at our destination as you can see beautiful Peel Island looks like an absolute another city today there'd be a couple of hundred boats here easy we're gonna find ourselves a little nook or cranny somewhere and uh, go for a swim and uh, have some lunch all right we're back from Peel uh, it wasn't the uh, calmest trip coming back, it was quite rough and the old Aquamaster ate it up. Now I'll go over a bit of fine detail with uh, the build of this boat. Now uh, as you can see throughout the boat, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ribs, 18 ribs for this beautiful 4.2 meter decks. Now it is uh, way over engineered and that's what you expect when you uh, deal with Aquamaster. Everything is over engineered, built tough, built for Australian conditions. Now, and this is not boo-booing any other brands whatsoever. Uh, the old tub, particular boat here is running bench seats, which uh, does stiffen it up a little bit. As you can see, the old two ribs in the middle. Uh, this is actually 3.8 metre. Uh, and that's 4.2 but when you look at the size comparison difference from this to this this just is outstanding it's only 400 mil longer higher sides and uh yeah just absolutely all around great now we're talking 
three mil sides, three mil bottom. Now, uh, as you can hear, like, hasn't got that tinny effect. Everything's nice and tight and built tough. Um, got your grab rails for when you, you cruise along in that little bit choppier conditions. So basically, you can option up anything on these boats. Um, we should have got um, your, your, your step put on at the back here. Would have been great. Um, but unfortunately, we didn't think down that track. But one thing you can do when you're dealing with Aquamaster and uh, AMC Marine is if uh, once you've got the boat and you can think of other options, you can take it in and they will add on once you've already bought the boat. Now, next thing I'm gonna highlight and uh, this is where, where Tom has uh, really shined. Uh, now, we all are wanting you know, gauges, switch panels, hidey holes, things like that. And uh, he's mounted this little box on here. It's got all our, our uh, nav lights, bilge pump, bait tank, fuel gauge, hour meter. Uh, it's got a little compartment here. We can store bits and pieces in and it is really easy to get to all the wiring in the back there, as you can see. It's not tight. So you can work on things very easily in there. Uh, we've got our ram mount mounted to the front of it. Uh, we are going to get a, uh, a splash cover for the back of the the, uh, the HDS live because we don't want it um, basically corroding by salt water against splash on it. And uh, side pockets. Well, we uh, got side pockets both sides. Storage is a must. Uh, we got the, the splash well put on it as well. I'm pretty sure there's new rules coming in that all boats are going to need splash well soon. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Now, when you get to the electronic side of things, uh, Line Batteries has hooked us up with uh, two of these beautiful 120 amp hour batteries, which will keep us running for days and days on the water. Now, uh, this particular battery here is hooked up to this beautiful 60 horsepower Suzuki supplied by Australian Marine Center. Uh, Roger man there. Uh, so it's hooked up to this battery and it uh, does charge it. It's, it's all hooked up to all your electronic gear, all your light sounders and things like that. And what we are gonna do, we have got another one of the 120 amp hour batteries over here. We're actually gonna run a, a cable up trickle feed this one because this one here in particular runs our uh, 65 litre fridge freezer and uh, that's one great thing about this boat also is we do run the 65 litre fridge freezer up the front there and there's still miles of room for myself Lily to go out and explore what uh, Queensland has to offer. And believe me, you will see lots of ventures to come. Now, uh, when it comes to rod holders, well, uh, we've got one in the back here, going halfway up. These mounts here are actually for outriggers. That's right, we have mounted outriggers to the uh, the boat to go chase your, your pelagics. And we've got uh, rod holders right up the front here. So uh, basically all base is covered when you're looking at um, rod holders. Uh, when it comes to fuel, so we've actually got a 50 litre underfloor tank. It sits about here, so it doesn't take up any room whatsoever. When it comes to lighting, so we've got our uh, nav lights, obviously, that run in these grab rails here. They're nice and protected from uh, hitting anything. When it comes to your anchor light, what we have actually decided to do is put it on a piece of PVC pipe. Uh, so you can actually, this rod holder here, I'll put it in place. Uh, clip it in, fold it up, and when that is actually extended, it's above our head height. Because laws state you have to have it higher than highest thing in the boat. Uh, next thing to cover is uh, lighting actually in the boat. So, um, I think it's this one. Yep, this one here is actually a cockpit lights. So under here, we've got stainless steel LED stripping. 
and uh, at night time these lights here light all up in the boat perfectly no light escapes the outside of the boat and uh, scares those fish all right guys well uh please stay tuned got a couple of uh, episodes coming up uh, we're gonna go shark fishing uh, in the logan river we're gonna go see if we can catch some crabs uh i've also got a uh, a bit of a, a surprise package coming from a company that makes um survival shovels so that's going to be pretty interesting i've never been involved in that sort of thing so going to do a bit of a, a box reveal on that and put together um and you're going to see many 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 a trips in this uh beautiful boat now uh shout outs uh one last shout out to um rod amc marine if you want the unreal boating package whether it be an aquamaster uh, or many other range of boats beautiful suzuki engines he now stocks mercury as well um, so if you want the boating package, especially if you're looking at custom built stuff from Aquamaster the Marine, uh, Tom Aquamaster the Marine can build anything. So if you've got a basic design, go and see the boys at uh, AMC Marine and they will build you what you want. Uh, next shout out is to uh, Paul Eyestyle Studio for wrapping the boat. Now uh, absolutely any wraps, car wraps, boat wraps, stickers, vinyls, anything like that, he is your man, local business as well. Uh, next shout out is to uh, Richard Jackson, uh, Sunbury Studios. Now, if you are into the video making scene and you want custom made uh, music, like uh, you would have uh, heard in the beginning of this, Richard is the man to see. He is an unreal musician, very, very talented man. And last but not least, um, Lion Batteries, King of Batteries, well, Thank you very much all to all you guys for setting us up with uh, this beautiful package. Please stay tuned. We've got absolute shocker block uh, more fishing to come, uh, whether it be in the old tub or the new tub, all combined. We will see you definitely on the water. Don't forget to give this old uh, video a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe. Until next time, cheers and good luck.